hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll show you how you can create this video to newspaper effect or transition inside of it film express uh, if you really enjoyed the video then consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel if you haven't already so yeah let's get straight to the video uh, here i have the image as you can see let me just open that up for you i have this image of a newspaper you can just google it up and you can get tons of results uh, just download any uh, newspaper image so that you can follow along i'm going to close out of this and then i have this video footage over here you can use any footage that you want let's create a new comp and uh, let's call this main or anything that you want let's give it a duration of 10 seconds 19 20 10 80 30 fps should be good enough click on ok let's bring in our image inside this timeline and as you can see the image is too small for this i'm going to go to transform and scale this up right now i'm going to make sure that the footage that i'll be placing i need to make sure that it is within this box uh, i'm going to replace this image with the video footage so i need to make sure that this box is entirely visible in our scene so that's why i need i just adjusted the position and yeah that should be enough let's bring in our video put it at the top let me just uh, reduce the opacity of this footage so that we can see what's going on behind it so i'm just going to try and put this video in the center of this box that we have of this image over here and i'm gonna i can also scale it down if i want uh something like that um so yeah try to you know put this in the center put the main subject in the center you can just set the opacity back to 100 percent let's select our rectangle mask tool make sure your video layer is selected and you can also turn it off we don't want that to be visible uh, we just need to make sure that this rectangle box is visible now we can use this uh, to create our rectangle mask so i'm just going to create a mask like this all right now let's make sure that the video layer is turned on you can also zoom into this see if it is perfect or not you can also go to mask shape and expand it a little so let's do two pixel and maybe you can also feather this by about two pixel i think that looks perfect all right now it's time to create our freeze frame effect so select the video layer and select the slice tool now just slice your layer and then the second layer just move it to the top and on this layer we can just call this freeze frame and on this freeze frame layer we are going to apply an effect called speed and apply it on this layer and i'm going to make sure that the speed is set to zero all right so now if you play your video you can see that you have the freeze frame going on and i'm going to apply another effect called tint apply it on the layer and make sure that the amount of tint is set to 100 percent so you have a completely black and white image all right that is looking good so the video plays and then it stops and we have the freeze frame effect going on let's turn these layers into 3d 3d click on yes to add a camera and on this camera we'll just create our animation so let's go to the very first frame so what we need to do is we need to make sure that this video is completely filled in in our scene so let's go to transform and zoom into this and i'm just going to change the position like so all right so now the newspaper is not visible so our video will start like this and when the freeze frame happens i want to reveal the newspaper the background behind it so what you can do is we can create a keyframe on position and let's create a keyframe on rotation x as well it's not necessary but we'll just give it a little bit of twist so let's move forward to maybe two seconds forward in time so let's go to seven seconds and let's just zoom out like that and change the position and bring it back in the center we're just going to try and get rid of this black bars that you're seeing on the left and right we don't want that empty space so just zoom in like so and uh, you can leave it as it is you have a simple zoom out animation if you want that but i'm going to just twist it a little bit on the x-axis so something like that and i'll just change the position 
So yeah, that looks good. Uh, I can select these two keyframes, convert the keyframes to manual Bezier. And you can also right click on these keyframes while they are still selected. Go to spatial interpolation and set this to linear. So you'll have a linear motion between these two keyframes. Um, so yeah, that should be it. Uh, you have a 3D animation going on that is revealing the newspaper uh, background as well. So that is it for this video. If this video is helpful, then kindly leave a like and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.